Hey everyone, welcome to another session of Azure Architect. Recently, we added a new playlist for AG305 and in this playlist, I'm planning to give you complete information about the architect based content means if you want to be a Azure architect, if you are preparing yourself for the Azure architect certification, AG305 uh, certification, so definitely this playlist can help you. So this is day one and uh, as day one, we need to know about the prerequisite and basic understanding of Azure portal about subscription, region, zone, data center and the other services. Those services are responsible to manage the resources over Azure portal. So let's try to understand about the content that we need to cover in this video. And also we'll discuss about the uh, uh, details related to the topic. So let's move ourselves to understand about the content first. Azure AG305 Microsoft Azure Architect design prerequisites. So in case of design prerequisites, the contents are that we need to know introduction, just a basic introduction about Microsoft Azure. As per the name suggests, Azure is a type of cloud service provider based on Microsoft. And with the help of Azure portal, we are able to purchase up to more than 10,000 services. These services are categorized in various certification like you know that AG900 related to Azure Fundamental, AG104 Administrator, AG305 Architect, AG500 Security like that. N number of certifications are available in Microsoft Azure. But if you co-related to the networking databases or you are able to understand about the server services, so you must need to prepare yourself for Microsoft Azure AG104 or AG305. Let me guide you about the modules related to the AG305. So as we discussed before, we need to start from the very basic design identity, governance and monitoring solution that help us to uh, clear the examination means it will provide you up to 25 to 30% of question in final examination. Then we'll discuss about the storage solution and then design business com, uh, continuity solution and we'll try to understand about the infrastructure solution. As per the name suggests, the usage of architect, the work of architect can help us to design the infra of our organization. So I'm going to guide you about the each and every points. So let's start with the, a very basic means first step Microsoft Azure architect design prerequisites. In case of architect design prerequisites, you should know about Azure subscriptions, management groups and resources. Then about the Azure regions, availability zones and region pair. Then discuss about Azure resources and Azure resource manager and try to understand about the subscription management. So these all are the points that we need to cover. And after that, we'll try to understand about the knowledge check. So actually the meaning of knowledge check, it will redirect you on page of question and answer, like as a which of the following can use to manage governance across multiple subs Azure subscription. So now we are unable to find the accurate means uh, the answer. But once we complete this particular module, definitely are able to uh, provide the correct answer of these questions. So I'll try to give you the complete information. First, we'll complete the part of our content and after that proceed for the knowledge check, right? So this is the really best way to learn any cloud technology, especially based on Microsoft Azure. And if you are if you are preparing yourself for the certification, so this way uh, can help you to clear the exam. I'm going to start from the Microsoft Azure subscription management group and resources. As per the name suggests, meanwhile, I'm just going to open our Azure portal that I can show you the services, services in the sense I'm talking about the Azure services about subscription identification, about uh, resource group, management group, each and every point I'll try to give you practical. So what you need to do, first step, you need to sign up yourself over Azure portal. It may be a free trial account, pay-as-you-go account or proceed with the MSDN. 
So right now we are on page of our Azure portal, select general tab and we are able to find subscriptions. Once you click the subscription, it will redirect your own page of subscription type that you are using. So I'm using pay as you go. This is my subscription ID and it will give you the information about your billing. So not an issue. So let me guide you about what is subscription and why it is important. Then we'll discuss about resource group and about region and zone. So as per the name suggests, the meaning of subscription is basically right because this is the cloud service provider. So every cloud provider can provide us option to purchase the subscription without without subscription. We are unable to perform any task. So let me help you to understand about how many types of subscriptions are available. So in case of Azure, we'll find up to three different types of common subscriptions are available. These subscriptions are free trial, right? You can proceed with the second subscription is related to pay as you go. And you can also proceed for MSDN. So these three different subscriptions are available that help us to purchase any services from portal. Let me guide you more about the free trial. So as per the name suggests, the meaning of free trial, every cloud providers, not only Microsoft Azure, every cloud providers can give us option to purchase a free trial that help us to understand how cloud services can perform the work. So in case of free trial, we'll get up to $200 for 30 days. Means you can proceed and sign up yourself over Azure portal and try to access the free trial account using your credit and debit card. It's mandatory to provide the information about your credit or debit card, and you will get up to $200 for 30 days. If we talk about the cost in INR, so you will get up to $15,500 uh, for 30 days, right? The amounts can help you to purchase any resources from Azure portal and it's totally free means you will get a you will create you will get a amount once you sign up with free trial account. Second option is correlated to pay as you go as per the name suggests. Pay as per usage means it's based on about your utilization. If you want to purchase a virtual machine or storage networking or anything that you want to purchase from Azure portal, according to the service, according to the uh, configuration of your resource, you have to pay the amount. Last is MSDN. It's a for MCT. If you are a Microsoft certified trainer, Azure Microsoft will provide you $100 per month, right? It's for your testing, it's for your implementation. It means if you are a Microsoft certified trainer, Microsoft Azure will provide you um, $100 every month and you can use the $100 to purchase any resources or services. So guys, this is the basic information about Azure subscription. What you need to do, you need to open portal.azure.com. This is the URL and uh, by using this particular URL, you can purchase any subscription, you can buy any subscription and using the subscription, you can purchase any resources. The first step, sign up yourself using portal.azure.com, use credit or debit card to uh, buy at least one subscription and after then proceed for the practical. Guys, I hope you all of you understand about the concept of uh, subscriptions type. Let me guide you about another points. The another points I wanted to describe region and zone because after that we'll proceed to understand about the concept of uh, resource group and management group. But before that, it's our responsibility we should know about the regions and zone. Like this is globe and um, let me design a data center. So, so the image that I'm creating, you can consider it as a multiple data centers are available in different geographical locations like this. These all are the data centers, right? Available in entire world. 
Second important points, each and every data centers are communicating to each other means all are connected to each other. We are able to purchase our resources in any location and these data centers are internally connected to each other. That's why every cloud provider, not only the Azure, every cloud providers can offer us up to 95.99% of fault tolerance by default. But we have option to increase it, but by default, every cloud providers, especially if we talk about the Azure and AWS, they provide us uh, up to 95.99% of fault tolerance. But question, what are the regions and about the zones? So it's our responsibility to understand about the regions and zone. As per the name suggests, the meaning of regions let me help you to understand. For example, I'm going to create one storage and uh, it will give you option. It will offer you to purchase your resource in at least one region or zone. See, if we click on the region, we are able to find Europe, US, Asia Pacific. So under the US, we are able to find Central US, East US, West US, East US 2, South Central US, West US 2, West US 3. Multiple zones are available. The Central US, East US, East US 2, uh, Central, South Central US, these all are the zones and US is the entire US considered as a region. So in single word, you can say that the region uh, contain n number of zones and the zone is uh, our the zones are a particular data center, a particular or physical data centers that is responsible to manage lots of resources. According to that diagram, let me try to guide you about the region and zone with the help of diagram. For example, this is our region. I'm talking about the US region and in US, we are able to find Central US, West US, right? East US. So the US is a type of region and the entire Central West and East, these all are considered as a zone, right? And every zone, every zone contain the physical data center. They establish thousands of server, uh, high configuration basis storage, high configuration, high speed of internet and a, a very good power supply and entire means the entire hardware they establish in zone, not region. And region is a basically collection of multiple zones. This is the actual difference between regions and zone. Is that okay? I hope you all of you understand about the concept of region and zone. I hope you good with the class one so you can treat like as an online session. If you have any question, please drop a comment. Definitely will reach your connect, uh, con comment and help you to understand. Thank you everyone. We'll connect soon in next video, in next session and discuss more about the Azure Architect content. And do subscribe your on Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel.